Mark Martin raced into his 50s. How long can you go? Good question. Um, I would say in a perfect world, I've kind of dreamt this up a little bit. In a perfect world, I would retire from cup racing when Brexton is 15 years old. And I would go run a year of truck. I'd go run a full truck series season to see if I can win a truck series championship because that I would be the first one to have ever won in all three series of NASCAR, you know, the a championship, which I've won the most races across all three of those divisions than anybody combined. Um, so I would do that. And then when Brexton turns 16, him and I can split that truck where he can run the shorter track races and I can run the bigger track races. So for two years, because you have to be 18 to run the big tracks. So for two years, we would split it. And then when he's 18, he takes it over. And then when he runs it full time and takes it over and hopefully wins a championship, then he moves on and then I'm out, like I'm done. You know, that would, that would be it for me. So that would probably put me around, I guess, 49, 50 or, or, years yeah. old. Yeah, sure. By the time you're Yep. Before we get back to this interview, I want to say that this episode is brought to you by Connected by Reynolds and Reynolds. If you want to hear great conversations and Greg Eulen going deep with guests on everything from used car acquisitions to finding your niche and selling to it, I recommend adding Connected to your podcast rotation. Now let's get back to my interview. That's a heck of a plan. I like that. Yeah, that's that's the dream. So I got I got to make the dream a reality. So we're working on that. I, I got to have that life after racing plan. I, I don't have that one set yet. And if, if my cup career is going to be over in the next, you know, six or seven years, boy, the time is ticking. <laughs> Does he get a truck at eight years old? Uh, like, like to drive did? around the streets? No, like the, the, the truck that your father bought you. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, he has one. Actually, I bought it back in 2004. I still have it. So it was the first vehicle that I ever made with real money that I bought with the real money that I made. So I still have that. It's a 2004 Chevy S10 pickup truck. And I dolled it up a little bit and made it look nice. And so when he turns uh, 16, that's going to be his first vehicle. Well, amazing. Final thing, you sit today in second place, a new team, uh, a new chapter of Kyle 14.0. <laughs> um, what will it mean if you win this year? Oh, man, that would be huge. Um, I think it would be really, really special for me, um, bringing a legacy back to, to RCR, then winning a championship again for the first time since 1994, which was last one with Dale Earnhardt. So um, that would be pretty iconic. And I, I, I would give everything to make that happen. You know, we were so close to winning the Daytona 500 this year. Um, uh, that's the only box that I have left to check in NASCAR that I haven't completed yet is winning the Daytona 500. So I led on lap 200. The race is 200 laps long, but it was lap 200 under caution. So the race got extended to finish under green. So unfortunately, I didn't uh, lead <coughs> the last two re uh, the last two laps after the restart. But um, yeah, I, I think it would be a huge moment, um, and I would that would be pretty awesome. Never lost a game, just ran out of time, right? Yeah, yeah. Never lost a championship, just ran out of races. <laughs> <laughs> 